interesting report in uh, National Geographic in 1987. They had an opportunity to see the effects of, of protein on bone health of people that lived many years ago. There were a couple of women who were sitting in a hut five centuries ago and an ice flow fell on top of them and preserved them for 500 years. They discovered these ladies in Alaska, estimated their age was 20 and 40 years of age. On autopsy they found that they showed signs of severe osteoporosis and also they suffered from atherosclerosis and in the National Geographic article they say this was the result of a heavy diet of whale and seal blubber. This is no mystery. And this is not a problem of modern society. The Eskimo that was studied, the traditional Eskimo was studied again and uh, their results were published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition about 30 years ago in 1974. They looked at Eskimos and they checked their, their bone density and they found that uh, after the age of 40, Eskimos consume, or Eskimos had 10 to 15 percent greater bone loss than, than Americans of comparable age. Yeah. And that's in the face of the fact that the Eskimos consuming all those fish bones eat on the average 2,500 milligrams of calcium a day. This is star apple. This is the green variety. This, this is, is the purple variety. This is inside the star apple. Apparently already getting started. Just look. Mm. What does it taste like? Sweet, creamy um, or what? Yeah, sweet, creamy, vanilla. <laughs> Off the tree. Mm. Wow. And there's just like this whole farm here, just abandoned star apples. Um, yeah, just, they're not getting picked for the last two years. So, the two dollars each in the local fashion shops, or you know, they open this one up for us. Mm -hmm. Yummy! It's like strawberry jam. Yeah, give me some of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Just doing righto again, man. Getting the free local fruits, wild, organic, raw, vegan, man. Abundance. Get out there and get it. Roadside durian store, really? Has it has a flavour? What have we got here? Got D24. Deep caramel. <laughs> I might have I might have myself a bit. Durian, it's one of my favourite foods. And, uh, try and get a get a chunk. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Big piece of durian. I meant to eat animals. I'd rather eat bananas and share my bananas with animals. People caught in the tank and getting cooked. Poor fish, man. Go vegan. So I got back from a 33-kilometer uh, run this morning. Epic. Had my water now. To the last bit of data aid. Man, epic. These Camelback bottles—they're uh, BPA-free, they say. And a great bottle to have on your bike. And uh, I use that as a bit of a glass during the day. So, yeah, when I went for a run this morning, I had my little hydration pack on. And uh, so it took us 2 hours 57 for 33 kilometers. And uh, we had a few thousand meters of elevation gain there. So it, was, it wasn't it was flat, it was just 
and up and down roller coaster. Actually, today I ran up the tallest um, bitumen climb I've ever done in my life. Um, it was it was good. And normally I'll cycle up these climbs, and today I ran up it, and yeah, it's good. It's humbling experience. So 33 k's, getting back now and on the water and, and the sugars, hydrate up. So this is I'm training up for my next marathon in a few weeks. So I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty tuckered out right now, and it's this is a good feeling. Satisfaction after completion. And next question, what do I do about my family in social settings and my friends? They think I'm crazy because I eat like a rabbit. How do you find you can share your path with those around you? Be the change you want to see. Show people that you're having fun, that you're not going, oh my God, I can't eat that, oh, I'm really bad, I'm going to touch that. You know, it's like you bring your, I bring my food with me when I go to a restaurant or I eat beforehand. And I might, I rarely eat out. I go out a lot, you know, because I'm a very social person. I go out all the time. When it comes to eating out, I'm so fussy, you know. It's like, sure, I used to order salads, like get tomatoes and lettuce, and it comes out in this little, you know, piss weak bowl. It's like, when I have a salad, my bowl's like this, you know what I mean? It's like four times the size of my head. And I've got a pretty big ego, so that's a pretty big bowl. So I always, you know, bring my food with me. Or I just don't eat there, and just, you know, I have water. And I go out to socialize. I don't go out to, uh, you know, to eat junk. I go out to socialize and share the ambience with my friends. I'm not going to compromise, you know, what I believe in just to, to fit in. You know, so so that's what I do. I go. I still go out, but I never go hungry. I used to go hungry. I'd go out and I'd be like, oh, I got nothing to eat, and I'd just be like. I couldn't really be in the moment because I was just so hungry. You just kept thinking about food, food, food. Body's going, mate, get some food in. You're starving us. So now I just, I never go out hungry. I just, you know, I go out satiated and I can just, boom, I can be social, you know, I can really give and just have a great time. So that's what I do. Christmas, when it comes to Christmas time, I bring my food with me because, again, people can't, aren't going to be able to cater for me. I'm such a fruit bat. I bring my food with me because I hate being hungry, you know, that sucks. Uh, I like being just satisfied, so I'm just, you know, carved up, so the next day I'm just laughing again. So I bring my food with me, or I eat before I go out, and maybe sometimes I bring a little bit extra to share with people, because sometimes people will go, oh, oh, those grapes are amazing, give me another one, I've never had a mango like that before. Durian, oh my god, that's what that crazy smell is, let me try that, holy shit, give me the whole durian. I always bring a little bit extra to share. Now I found that's very helpful. And then once people start seeing you having fun, it's not deprivation, restriction, you know, whatever. Then go, like, hang on, this you can actually do this. You can actually be a health nut. You can actually be bananas and still be social and be an athlete and actually do better. Wow, maybe I'll try this. But if you like, you know, look like all freaked out and oh my god, oh my god, put those chips away from me because I might just be out of control and I can't go too close to the chips because I don't want to smell the cooked food, you know, it's like, just relax and, you know, <laughs> you don't have to eat it, man, eat your own stuff and just try not to freak out and uh, people around you will just understand that <laughs> it's an easy thing to do.